we had a visit from some critters last night, so uh, we've had to clean everything up and take all of the anything that's food inside. Hi, yeah, no, what are you? Awesome. So we've arrived and we've checked in and everything. And Branston, I'll save you, I won't show you it, has uh, immediately got out of the van, did a bab. Um, we've got poo bags, but they're right behind all the cupboards. <laughs> so we're trying desperately now to see if we've got any poo bags. Normally, they're everywhere. When you don't want, when you're getting a fiver out of your pocket, you put, normally pull out like 50 different poo bags first. None of those now. It looks like we're going to have to. Scoop it up with his hands. Oh, there you go. Right, so we are fully camped up and it's looking snazzy. We'll do a full campsite tour in a bit, but it's a, it's a snazzy place, it's different. Uh, and you'll see when I do a tour why it's different. Olivia's making dinner tonight, uh, which is lovely. And obviously we've got the fire pit and the grass protector. They did say that if we didn't have anything to protect the grass, then the uh, fire pit needed to be on the gravel. So do bear that in mind. But now it's pot noodle time. And Olivia made those as well. I mean, what's going on? What is going on? I say pot noodle. I've got a snack noodle, uh, Michelle's got a snack noodle, and Olivia's got the, the pot noodle. Ta da! <laughs> no, I need to put my sunglasses on, they're too bright. They'll be very bright in the dark. <laughs> so, pot noodles done and coffee's done. That was lovely. Shell set up these lights. I don't even remember when we went to the Caravan and Motorhome show. Shell bought these little lights, little pull on, push pull light things, and they're on a little remote as well. So, we'll see how uh, they are. Coming up in this next bit of video is the campsite tour. Nice! See you bye! Rossendale Holiday Cottages and Glamping isn't your usual campsite. In fact, it's not really a campsite. Situated in Rossendale, Lancashire, it's perfectly placed for mountain biking, hiking and relaxing. This site focuses mainly on their holiday cottages, glamping pods and lodges. However, tucked away near the lake at the top of the site are four spots for camper vans and the views from these spots are lovely. The toilets are small but very clean and well maintained, with two showers and two toilets. There is an undercover pot wash area tucked away at the back and there is also a hot tub that can be hired for a fee. On arrival we had a very warm welcome and a guided tour to our pitch. There is a small shop on site that sells some of the essentials you may need during your stay including alcohol, cakes, coffee and snacks. If you would like your food made for you, you can order full meals and have them delivered directly to your camper van. From full cooked breakfast to meals in the evening and a menu is provided when you check in. There is a waste disposal area on site, an Elson point for your toilet guff and a games room with a pool table, table tennis, DVDs, TV and books. The games room is open from 9am till 8.30pm. Quiet time on site is from 10pm so this is not a site for those who want to party all evening. Just up from our pitch is a space for football, other outdoor games 
and a man-made lake with benches to chill or simply watch the sun setting in the evening. There are short but beautiful trails that lead you around the site and provide a nice relaxing walk with nature as your soundtrack. There are a few swings that I obviously had to try and you can hire bikes from reception for just £25 per day, something we would have definitely done had we have stayed longer. One of my favourite parts of this site is you can hire an area that already has benches and a fire pit down near the stream to spend an evening around a fire without the hassle of bringing your own fire pit and wood. You can bring your own fire pit and barbecue as long as it's raised off the ground and doesn't damage the grass. We pay just under £30 per night with electric hookup and I will leave a link in the description below to their website so you can check out pricing for your stay. The site gets a thumbs up from us and will definitely choose to come here again. Right, so that's the campsite tour done and what I normally say at the end of a campsite tour is where's my beer? However, this time we're going to go try and find the pub which I don't think is too far from here. So we're going to have a walk up. We've bought some marshmallows for the fire pit because it's illegal not to have marshmallows at your fire pit and we've run out of coffee. <laughs> so uh, they've given us some coffee as well, which is lovely of them. Uh, there's a wedding going on as well. Uh, there's quite a lot of French people over for a wedding. I don't know where, but they're, they're all getting ready and sorted here. Uh, Shell's just taken the... Uh, marshmallows and the coffee to the van now she's back we are gonna head to the pub where's she gone now so something i forgot to put into the campsite tour is the owner i was just talking to her now it's been lovely to have met you um she's turning this into a like a herb garden free herbs and stuff so not that kind of herbs so we saw the bride as well so it turns out she's getting ready in one of the uh, lodges which is a lovely thing to do they're french uh which i didn't get to practice her her french style did you no no, she doesn't. She knows French. Je voudrais on le pomplemousse, s'il vous plaît, mercy buckets. And now we're heading down to the pub, which apparently is about a mile away, uh, which is an 18 minute walk for normal people. But when you've got Branston and a Michelle and a Livia, it'll be, uh, <laughs> it'll be an hour and a half. We are walking so slow now. I'm saving all of the lives. Look at this. I'm a saver of lives. It's all happening. It's Thank me slow. later. Slow down. Save lives. <laughs> We're almost at the pub, and uh, according to Google, he said uh, the pub's busier than usual. So hopefully we can get served. And uh, I need a wee. It's closed. It's actually closed. So we come to the water trough, which is literally about 500 yards away from the campsite. Uh, we managed to get a beer, which is lovely. Beer Moretti, nice. Uh, and they shut at four. <laughs> so the other place opens at four and this shuts at four. It would have been so hilarious. We'd have got here and they'd have just been shut in as the other place has opened. Uh, we've got plenty of beer in the van, which is fine, but we do feel like it's nice to go and get a beer. It just feels different, feel like you're relaxed. And the sun has got his hat on, hip 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 hooray. Right then, pint done. Time to go back to the van and have more pint <laughs> so i literally think we've got an island of solitude we've got our own little spot there there's no one next to us there and nobody over this way however things might change because it's thursday things might change tomorrow friday or people might be having a long weekend and come after work tonight so we're keeping our fingers crossed that we've got at least one evening on our own uh, where we're not going to be disturbing anybody either with a the fire pit and all the music who has nobody about happy days it's the first of june Right, so British summertime, and both my good self and Michelle are in our dry robes. There's a right chilly northerly breeze going. It's warmer in Yorkshire, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> So the girls have continued to make dinner, which is lovely. I've done the uh, fire pit, which is nice. However, our island of solitude has been infiltrated. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, lovely. Nice. Uh, 
Uh, I was DJ. It was great. Metal music. Michelle hated it. So instead, what no, we no, decided... No, 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 no. I liked some of it until it got to the shouty bit. Shouty, yeah. Uh, we decided that we're going to change DJ. Instead of me with just metal music on, we thought it's probably best Olivia takes over and puts some more metal music on i wanted harry styles but apparently no if i can't remember who it was but there's a subscriber that just said um what is a harry styles <laughs> i wish I i'm with you know. mate i'm with you he's a good looking chap i'll give him that he's a good no, looking chap i'm not bothered about what he looks like i like his music mm. yeah. <laughs> we might have to put a harry styles song on no. um, and i bet you sing to it if i do it won't be on video <laughs> I've been relieved of my dry robe. Daughter. I'm cold! Look at him. Look, I'm just sat here. Sleeves out. Fine. No problems. I've got a fire pit to keep me warm. It's lovely. But these guys are shivering. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Tomorrow, we're just going to have a lazy morning. Uh, cook something amazing on our Kadak. And, uh, and see what the day brings. So... I'm going to leave it there now, so I'll see you in the morning. Take care. Night, night. See you. Bye. Good morning. Um, we had a visit from some critters last night, so uh, we've had to clean everything up and take all of the anything that's food inside. Um, it's the first time that's ever happened to us while we've been uh, camping, so it's just one to tick off the to-do list every time we go to bed now. Um, but yeah, the... Uh, the bin had been rifled through uh, the Bombay mix, so some poor fox uh, that's or whatever it is that's eating it, that's eating the majority of this Bombay mix, is going to be suffering. <laughs> and now it's time to make myself a cup of coffee with the AeroPress, because why not? The day is absolutely beautiful, we don't know what we're going to do, we're literally chilling it. Coffee made, and once I've got coffee in me, everything starts to work again. So that's the bed set up. The van's back into daytime running mode. Uh, the girls are down at the toilet getting ready this morning because, I don't know, my girls in particular seem to uh, have to do stuff to their face and hair in the morning, whereas I literally just, uh, I wake up, do that, off I go. <laughs> right, so it's breakfast time, and that means we're gonna make some pancakes. Well, I seem to have um, tried flipping it too early and um, it fell apart. <laughs> you might have some pancake coming your way, darling. And as if by magic, that's the pancakes done and breakfast sorted. We are having a, such a lazy day. Uh, it's quarter to one and we've just finished our uh, crepes and pancakes and stuff, which is fine, you know, which is absolutely fine. I've introduced Michelle to the, uh, the chilled out way of camping because sometimes you can get a little bit overstressed to be getting things done quickly 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 you've got to do this got to do that got to do that got to do that and you know what sometimes you don't have to do that you can just chill out like i did last week for that one day there's nothing wrong with coming away in your van and doing nothing so we're off for a walk and we're going to go try and find a reservoir uh, but first most importantly it's seesaw time <laughs> <laughs> Everything always looks nicer in the sunshine, doesn't it? Uh, so I thought I'd do a little bit of B-roll of this place uh, while the sun is shining, just to give you an idea of how lovely it is. Uh, so I was just chilling on this veranda spot here. So Michelle thinks her hay fever's kicked in. I don't think it's hay fever. I think it's because she's in Lancashire <laughs> and she's allergic to it. I'm not. It's a body rejecting it. I'm sure it's not. It's definitely Lancashire not. Lancashire is lovely and I'm not allergic to Lancashire. Yeah, this is nice. I'm allergic to their pollen, but not Lancashire. Yeah, exactly. Uh, there's a lot of road walking to get to this point uh, and a lot of the paths are a little bit kind of, not sure whether it's a public footpath or not. But this is lovely. This is definitely a public footpath according to uh, Outdoor Active. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'll never grow up. <laughs> Well, that's a shame. We've got all the way here to the reservoir and uh, to my left now, it's a building site. You can't get on. Uh, so sadly, we can't walk across the dam, which I thought we'd be able to. It's been a nice little walk out. We've only been out an hour, but it is what it is, isn't it? So we've decided that uh, we're going to walk back on the road. Uh, most of it was on road anyway. Uh, I'm sure there's some beautiful walks up on like the Rossendale Way and stuff like that. Uh, but I thought it'd be a nice little short walk to go up to the reservoir. Never mind. But the walk's long enough to warrant going to the pub on the way back, obviously. All water in the seesaw and it squidged out but came out right where my crotchal area is so it looks like I've Ages then. actually looks like wee wee right so we'll come back to the water trough and uh, be a Moretti lovely jubbly and I think what we're probably going to do is take our food to the lake and have our lunch there which would be properly nice Shell and Olivia are having coca-colas uh, because they uh, lightweights basically and uh, oh hello <laughs> I'm going to sit in a John over here and I shall see you when we're chilling out with our dinner. See you, bye. So we are having BLTs, well I'm not, you know me, I'm just having my plastic meat, but we're having BLTs and uh, Michelle's absolutely smashing this and there's no um, bacon left on there because <laughs> we've already put it in Olivia's sandwich. Um, but yeah, we're using the uh, same thing we used the crepes this morning to do bacon, nice. Uh, the dog's slavering a lot. Um, here's Liv's look, look at this. Oh, nice and spicy eye. Uh, the showers in this place have the push button so I'm going to give this a go yes uh, to see if it stops the uh, showers from turning off all is good in the hood so I'll show you in a bit see you bye right so dinner done that was lovely full bellies happy as Larry uh, whoever Larry is no idea uh, what we're going to do now though is get everything ready so then we're ready to get off in the morning something we don't normally do uh, but this is a practice for when we go to France where we are staying at a couple of campsites and we need to, thank you, uh, we need to, Olivia's just wet that for me, uh, and we need to get off uh, to go to the next campsite. So we want to get some sort of slick operation going. And as if by magic, everything is ready to go. I'm just gonna jump in the shower. I'm gonna try this little red thing to make sure it works. Uh, and everything's ready to go. Just piled everything at the back there. We know it's not gonna rain. We checked the uh, weather forecast. It's gonna be beautiful just like it is tonight now. Um, and everything's just piled up there. We've not left any food things out as well because we know what happened last night. So the uh, rubbish bag is in the footwell of the van. The bed's set up, everything's ready to go for this, this evening and we're gonna play some cards and chill out. I'm gonna jump in the shower now and I shall see you when we're playing cards in the van. Take care, see you, bye. Right, so I'm back from the shower and yes, they are awesome, really warm, lovely. Um, but just to let you know and update you, this thing, properly properly worked uh, i'll put a link in the description below hashtag not sponsored uh, just linked behind the taps and then kept the push button shower on constantly while i was in the shower which was proper ace um so yeah go get one there ace and now i think it's time to play some cards and have another beer and then go to sleep so i shall see you guys in the morning take care you bye well good morning everybody i'm whispering because uh, the van next door i think they're still asleep so uh, I'm just being a nice camper. Uh, the girls have gone to go get a shower uh, this morning and they've left me to clean up the mess. Coffee's had, uh, we're gonna have cereal this morning because obviously we put all the cooking stuff away. Oh, it's just lovely isn't it to have a cup of coffee and the sunshine, all the vans packed away now ready to go pretty much. I'm gonna have spun the chair around and put the uh, lid down on the top and everything's just in a pile like it was last night uh, ready to just get put in the van so we can set off and go i've got to visit a uh, wedding venue on my way back because it's not too far from here and i've got a wedding next tuesday 
Uh, so yeah, it's always good to check out the venues just in case. Well then guys, it's been an awesome adventure and uh, we're going to end the video there. So take care. We'll just see you on the next one. See you, bye. bye. I've been ready for ages. Alright, whatever. Ready? Yeah, so I'm ready. I'm still ready. Come on. Who knew there was a wrong shelf to do this on? So, do that again, so then I can use the ambient noise without you going, Who oh, knew how to do the shelf on it? Branston's on his fourth crap in as many minutes. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. He says it's busier than usual and there's nobody in there because it's closed. It's really warm and here's a van. <laughs> there he goes. So it's a nice and peaceful um, area that we're inside. We're playing mini bash. It's a bit violent, I'll be honest. Well, it's got violent because Liv. You're meant to hit them. <laughs> but where, I'm your dad. I'm not going to hit you hard. It's like mini bash. You know yeah, what I mean? You're like, I'm mini bash! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! No, don't! I'm going to fly off! <laughs> Olivia won't so we'll not talk about that anymore. And once coffee is inside Colleen. No, that sounds weird. I need to drink a bit first for function. Just say time to make some pancakes. Are you recording? <laughs> time to make some pancakes. A bit louder. <laughs> time to make some pancakes. Oh no, I don't know. I don't like that pancake. <laughs> it's time to make some pancakes. That's exactly the same, isn't it? <laughs> Literally all she has to do is say it's time to make some pancakes with a bit of enthusiasm. I'm not very good at enthusiasm, but he, he treats me like he's a director of a big film. I am. Take two. <laughs> it took you one minute 43 to say it's time to make some pancakes. Right, can you stop talking because we're trying to get ASMR from this. Oh. oh. There's no water coming out of it. It's really like wet, right? Do you know where my butt crack is? Can you see? And now it's like, oh, it feels like I've, I'm leaking. Yeah, yeah. Hope, the, hope it doesn't smell. Branson just having a drink of water. Every time I, there's been no cars come past, and as soon as I start recording. Oh, I wasn't recording at all.